If I had a time machine, I'd go back to 14-year-old me and tell him, getting to 18 is only half the battle. I never imagined that having power over my own life could be just as terrifying as it is liberating. You see, I traveled back to my tiny bathroom on the night 14-year-old me was holding a blade in one hand and a pool of blood in the other. Like, he too was traveling back to a time four years old and telling our mom he was a little boy, not girl, and she hadn't believed me. And I grew up to think that that feeling meant something was wrong with me, and 14-year-old me thought he could escape that tragic fate. If I could, I'd go back to 14-year-old me as he stepped into the hot water, scratches down his body in an attempt at escape carved into his wrist. As his mind journeyed back to all the times that that blood-soaked skin hadn't felt like his own, and when our mother would say he was sexualized, that he was inappropriate with adult men and not the other way around. And all the frames of time spent in the shower too long, scrubbing a layer of filth that would never run off. 14-year-old me thought in death he could be clean. If I could transcend time, I'd go back and tell him that he has the power over his body and that no one person can throw that away. And it sounds dumb if you haven't looked death in the eyes when someone says their light flashed before them. But as the blood and hot water swirled orange in the bottom of the shower, 14-year-old me watched his life spiraling down the drain. All the criticism and everything he hoped to be and everything I have ever been sank down the pipes. I traveled time that night. When 14-year-old me realized all the years lost to depression and anxiety were not his fault, no matter how much he'd been made to feel otherwise, and he could not, would not waste them. He could not pay for the crimes he did not commit, and 14-year-old me flipped the water to cold and reached for a towel, head spinning. And now, back to the present. I think of all the times I've considered, maybe, just maybe, I don't have to live this pain anymore, but I think that every transgender child who doesn't deserve to be another martyr, and I want to, I have to, grow up so I can tell them they can do it too. And I think of every child and adult who's felt trashed the way I have, and I want to tell them if I can really relearn how to be a human and not just a body, so can they. So if I could travel time just once more in my life, I'd go back to 14-year-old me and I'd thank him for chickening out, for being a coward, because sometimes it's the bravest thing anyone can be, because the bravest thing that anyone can ever do is just to live.